Hi everyone and welcome back to Sister's Keeper. I am Anu. On the evening of July 15, 1996, I was involved in a road traffic accident. My tibia, also known as my shin bone, was fractured. As a result, I was hospitalized for three months. My bed was in the third bay of the female ward in the teaching hospital and I had my left leg strung up on some contraption that ensured traction. Chi Chi, who was in the bed closest to mine, was 30 years old, fair-skinned, slim and beautiful, lovely in a way that drew me to her. She had a uniquely husky voice. I noticed, however, that she was unable to sit up and I wondered why. She told me her story one day. She had noticed a small lump in her breast three years ago and had been told by her doctor that a biopsy was required to make a proper diagnosis. She was frightened that the lump might be malignant and that she would need to have a mastectomy to remove her breast. And so she didn't go for the biopsy and didn't tell anyone. She went about her life as usual. Two and a half years later, she began to have pain in her back and after a while had problems walking properly. Her parents took her from one hospital to the other, but the doctors couldn't find out what was wrong. Until one day, a doctor at the sixth hospital she was taken to gave her a thorough physical examination and observed that one of her breasts was unusually hard to touch. It turned out that the little lump of two and a half years ago was malignant. The cancer had spread all over her body and was now attacking her spine. She was then transferred to the teaching hospital where we met. Chichi's mother visited regularly. She was angry with her daughter for not confiding in her because something would have been done to prevent the situation. We would talk every day and her voice got raspier and weaker until she was silent. I woke up one morning to the sound of curtains being drawn around Chichi's bed. I thought it was the doctors conducting their ward round, although it was a little earlier than usual. I later understood that the drawing of curtains at an unusual time meant that death had come calling. Chi Chi had unknowingly valued her breast over her life. She made an uninformed decision and things ended badly. There's so many more true stories that I could tell you, but the most important thing here is to appeal to you not to give up your life for your cleavage. My Valentine's Day gift to myself each year is getting my health checks done. Assigning checks to a specific day and month helps to ensure that I plan for my checks and ensure they are accomplished each year. According to the World Health Organization, in an article dated 26 March 2021 on breast cancer, by the end of 2020, there were 7.8 million women alive who were diagnosed with breast cancer in the past five years, making it the world's most prevalent cancer. Breast cancer is a disease in which malignant cancer cells form in the tissues of the breast. Men too get breast cancer, although it's rare. Breast cancer treatments can be highly effective, especially when the disease is identified early. Treatment of breast cancer often consists of a combination of surgical removal, radiation therapy, and various medications to treat the microscopic cancer that are spread from the breast tumor through the blood. Such treatments, which can prevent cancer growth and spread, thereby saves lives. While you can't usually prevent breast cancer, it is important to be proactive about your health. Anyone who has relatives who have been diagnosed with breast cancer has a higher risk of having a positive diagnosis. Do you know that the entire month of October is set aside as Breast Cancer Awareness Month? One of the top priorities is educating women on what they can do to be proactive about their breast health. To avoid stories that touch the heart, there are four ways you can be proactive about your breast health. Check both breasts each month by feeling with your fingers for any lump, thickening, hardened knot, or any other breast changes, including the appearance of the skin. You can do this in the shower, in front of a mirror, or while lying down. If you find a lump or anything unusual that wasn't there before, Drop everything and go to the hospital and get it checked immediately. If you're 40 or older, get your breast screened today at a screening center near you. Getting the mammogram is quick and painless. Be your sister's and brother's keeper and share this video with all the women and men you know to educate them. Remember that knowledge and early detection saves lives 
And that wraps up our time together today. There's something new coming next. Subscribe to ensure you don't miss it. Thank you for listening. Remember to be your sister's keeper. If you found this video useful, please subscribe, share, like, and then leave a comment in the comment section below. Contact us via our socials at sisterskeeper42 and email at sisterskeeper42 at gmail.com. Take good care of yourself and I look forward to talking to you soon.